Now there are great video games with very simple ideas on tiny budgets and then there are games with enormous budgets and more incredible features and mechanics than you can shake a stick at. Do people still say shake a stick at? Let's bring it back. In the case of this list though, we're tucking into some of the minuscule details that developers added to their games that made them just so much better. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are 10 tiny details in games that made them so much better. Number 10. Lose an eye and the screen goes dark. Metal Gear Solid 3. Between the Metal Gear series and Death Stranding, there are so many options we could have picked for an entry on this list, but we're gonna go with Metal Gear Solid 3, where Snake loses his eye. When Big Boss lost his eye during an encounter with Ocelot in Operation Snake Eater, you'll notice the right side of the screen has a blacked out vignette, just like if you closed one eye. Like many of the things on this list, Kojima could have not done this and made just as excellent of a game. But to implement the visual distortion reflecting Snake's actual vision brings it to the next level. Reportedly, the 3DS port of the game even prevented the player from using the 3D depth slider when in third person mode to reflect the loss of his eye. Since then, Life is Strange 2 and Inscription have both used the same feature to great effect, but kudos to Metal Gear Solid 3 for doing it best. Number 9. Edward Kenway's Excellent Animations – Assassin's Creed Black Flag There aren't many AC fans who would argue that the characters, game worlds, and mechanics that make up AC Black Flag represent one of the series' best. Plenty of loving detail was clearly poured into the environments, the world design, geography, and vistas. But there were smaller things that made us care about Edward Kenway and his journey too, one of which is a tiny little detail connected to the way we watch our protagonist move about the world. In what is another brilliant example of something that could have been done away with and created just as good of a game, the way Edward dynamically moves through water is lovely. Now nobody would have batted an eyelid if the guy just used a slightly slower walk animation to move through water, but instead we got this. In certain situations, Edward will trail his fingers along the water, which will in turn leave noticeable trails behind him. It's something we see a lot now in games like The Last of Us and its sequel, where animations are lovingly nuanced and dynamic depending on the circumstance. But eight years ago, this was mind-blowingly cool. Things like this may seem insignificant, but they really add to a player's ability to really appreciate the tranquility and detail in the game world. Number 8. The Animal Ecosystem – Red Dead Redemption 2 Much like plenty of the other games on this list, Red Dead Redemption 2 is positively littered with tiny details that enhance the game world and your experience. In lieu of mentioning that horse balls shrink in the cold, I've gone for an option that's a little more discreet, but not to worry, I do have a crude one later down the list. The systems at play beyond your third-person cowboy sightline in Red Dead Redemption 2 are sprawling and incredibly well-developed. The intricacies behind how the game world functions don't stop at the daily routines of NPCs. They also extend to the game's fauna. The animals in Red Dead 2 actually hunt each other. While occasionally Arthur finds himself on the wrong end of a crocodile, it's more often they'll take their snacks in the form of smaller, less gun-toting prey like boars. Take a moment in any part of the game world and you might see cougars stalking and attacking deer, among any number of other interesting animal interactions that have nothing to do with your personal journey. It's this feature and many others like it that make this particular digital pocket of the Old West a wildly addictive playground. Number 7. GTA Knowing You Better Than You Know Yourself – Grand Theft Auto V Sometimes the best tiny details in games aren't complex systems or gorgeous animations, but instead incredibly niche additions that indicate the developers just really get you. This is one such example. In GTA V, while playing as Trevor, you can head on over to Michael's gorgeous house and, if you like, aim an RPG at it and start firing a ton of rockets. Is this a really specific thing to do? Yes it is. Did players do it anyway? You betcha. Did Rockstar suspect they would? Apparently. Fire off a good handful into the side of Michael's mansion and you'll get a call from the man himself yelling at you to quote STOP FIRING ROCKETS AT MY HOUSE! The amount of thought that went into recognizing players would do these things and how much joy it would bring them to record voice lines and interactions related to such specific events is why GTA is so beloved and probably why it stood the test of time for eight years. Number 6. An Interconnected World – Xenoblade Chronicles 
Xenoblade Chronicles may not be the only game that lets you see other parts of the game world from disconnected locations, nor is it the only game that features an interconnected landscape, but it combines the two in a really awe-inspiring way. Essentially, the game takes place on the bodies of two enormous titans, which makes being able to see different parts of the traversable world pretty damn remarkable. At one point, you might be on the titan's knee and you can turn around and see the other titan's sword above you. This is all the more interesting because it won't be until tens of hours later that you'll find yourself on the sword and you can look back and see the spot on the knee you'd been standing on. The developers had to model with clay to figure out how these interconnected environments and terrain would look and what the player should be able to see from each area. The result is gorgeous and gives you a real sense of wonder that plays into the game beautifully. Even when you realize one of the most gorgeous parts of the game, the Sartoral Marsh, is uh, on the Titan's butt. Number 5. A Literal Poop – Dark Souls I understand I've been going on a tangent about how so many of these details can be these game-affirming, incredible, beautiful additions, and now I'm talking about a poop, but bear with me. The chosen undead may have been cursed with the dark sign to never die, is forced to face unimaginable odds in battle, and navigate a nightmarish world, but a hero's still gotta go. The entire Soulsborne series is full of enchanting and horrifying little details ready to unveil themselves to particularly observant players. It may not be the most haunting example, but plenty of players were suitably impressed by the decision of some From Software developer to 3D model a poop into a pot in the chosen undead cell. You have to maneuver the camera just so in order to see it, but it is indeed there, and it answers that question you may or may not have had. Even if you think this one is a little bit silly, it does do a really good job of representing the extreme attention to detail that the developers had when creating this game world. And it's that very attention to detail in every part of the game that's made the series such a smash hit. Number 4. Codsworth Calls You By Your Name – Fallout 4 since we're rolling through entries of cool tiny details that could have been done away with and players would have been none the wiser, this is an especially cool thing Bethesda decided to put time into. Cast your mind back to 2015 and you might have found yourself booting Fallout 4, ready for a dense RPG adventure, naming your character your own name, something stupid or something very serious, and prepping yourself for the wasteland. It was to many players great surprise then when your domestic model Mr. Handy calls you by that very name. Now this isn't a name you picked from a pre-recorded name list, it just so happens that the robot was programmed with over 900 names. Now we're firmly in the year of Google Home and Siri, this is a bit less impressive, but at the time it was very exciting. Including this feature at all was totally unnecessary, but a fun addition to fleshing out what was at the time the newest RPG romp from Bethesda. Initially, there was some drama over the name Kyle being left out, but a 2016 update addressed that to the relief of Kyles everywhere. There's also Erectus, Arseface, and Bacon, if that's more your speed. Number 3. Weapon Upgrade Animations – The Last of Us 2 There are some things we've just accepted as automated in games. Upgrading a weapon usually just takes you to a menu where you navigate to your upgrade of choice and then hold a button for long enough to spruce up your gun, bow, what have you. Similarly, visiting a merchant usually just takes you to a menu where you pick what you want to buy and sell from a UI list. Now there's nothing inherently wrong with this, in fact for the most part it makes the whole process a lot more streamlined, but there are a couple of occasions where the rule has been broken to great effect. The first of which is in Red Dead Redemption 2, where shops actually feature the items up for sale on shelves and you can buy them that way. There is a menu available too in the form of a catalogue on the counter, but it's all a far cry from a basic list of text or small images showing available goods. Similarly, The Last of Us 2 takes weapon upgrading to the next level with realistic animations, showing Ellie and Abby altering components of each weapon in real time. The animations of course aren't all perfectly realistic or flawless, but it does represent that attention to detail that's carried through the rest of the game. Number 2. Dangerous Wires – Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain This list is all about meticulous, generally unnecessary details that great games could have gone without, so yeah, Hideo Kojima is getting another look in. 
In this instance, we're taking a closer look at the PAL lines in the Phantom Pain. And so should you, because they're a pretty handy tool. You can snap the lines by shooting them, which cuts the power to anything they're connected to. Additionally, if a soldier wanders into the vicinity of a fallen wire while it's raining in game, they'll be electrocuted. The touch of realism is a nice inclusion, and given this game is all about adapting your approach through the deductions you've made by surveying your surroundings, having a new option to consider is a welcome addition. Number 1. Hallucinations – Batman Arkham Knight there are so many little details enhancing the experience and game world in Arkham Knight, but we've boiled it down to just one, and that's the Joker hallucinations. Once the fear toxin is released in Arkham Knight, you might be able to notice plenty of little Joker hallucinations throughout the city. Your arch nemesis can be spotted in billboards and posters, on statues, and even projected over the Lady of Gotham herself. Some of these are really rare and can vanish in the blink of an eye, so it all does an extraordinary job of embedding you in Batman's psyche. Some players even reported noticing random thugs can resemble the Joker, though if they end the encounter, look away and look back, it turns out it was simply a regular, non-Joker resembling thug. The implications here of where Batman is at and where the narrative is going are super interesting. These aspects and the technical achievements of the environment, plus Batman's cape animations and how it interacts with weather, all combine in a really satisfying way. That is the end of our list, but do let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other tiny details in video games that make them all the more better. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. As always, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at JessMcDonald if you like, but make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more great content.